Y'all see these little dudes right here? These are a gardener's best friend. Well, I mean, really they poop is, but shh, don't tell them that. Now, why might they poop be our best friend? Well, let's take a look together. Y'all see this stuff right here? This beautiful stuff here? This is black gold. I mean, beautiful stuff. Now, what's gardeners call all different types of compost black gold? And I mean, rightfully so. There are a lot of different types of compost that are excellent for your soil. But what makes vermicompost the best, right? What makes it the king of black gold? And how can we get access to loads and loads of it right here at home? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's go. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Beyond Organic Gardening. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all stopping by to check out the wonderful world of worm boo boo. Now, if you're anything like me, which I'm assuming you are since I mean, you're watching this video about worm poop, then you're constantly looking for ways to get your garden or other type of plants growing to the best of their ability, right? So they, they can reach their maximum potential. And if that's the case, then you know there's all type of tips and tricks and hacks and gizmos and gadgets and all type of stuff that you can get lost in looking for something to benefit your plants. You're looking for something about tomatoes and you end up figuring out how uh, spinach was cultivated back in 1792 by Queen Elizabeth and her little brother. You know what I'm saying? It just, you can get lost in this stuff. But what I found after getting lost in all type of stuff is that usually the simpler the answer is, the better the results it yields. I mean, that's just how it goes. Paul Gauchy loves to say that the creator made things simple for us and you can't get lost in simple. And it is, that's true. I mean, that is for real true. And that is why we are here talking about worm poop. <laughs> now to go ahead and answer that question about why it's the absolute best. I'm, I'm about to nerd out real quick. So just, just bear with me for a second. A study done back in 2009 was conducted to determine the nutrient status of vermicompost from three different worm species that were fed urban green waste. The primary aim of this research was to investigate how vermicompost and traditional compost of urban green waste could be combined to maximize the potentials of both. So they gathered all types of vegetable waste from one particular market, and they also grabbed floral waste from a Southeast Asian plant known as the rust tree. So each of the three species of worms that they were testing received a container for floral waste and also a container of vegetable waste. And also for each species of earthworm, there was floral waste that was composted traditionally and a vegetable waste that was also composted traditionally. That's a lot of compost. So then at 15 days, 30, 45, and then 60 days, there were samples taken from each of the materials. So there were three species of earthworm, there were four compost bins, and then you subtract the two, carry the one, flip it around. Uh, 12, 12, total, 12 total samples of stuff. It was a lot of samples. The samples they took were used to measure the organic carbon and also the major nutrients within the compost. You know, your NPK, your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and they also measured calcium and magnesium as well. And at every single one of those 15 day interval sampling periods, the vermicompost had significantly higher major nutrients than the traditional composting methods. I'll throw the numbers up for you somewhere. And if that don't make you wanna go roll around in worm poop. <laughs> Well, then maybe this will, because I ain't done yet. We're about to glance over some real cool properties of vermicompost. Having a moment here. Never would have thought I'd be sitting here talking to people on the internet about worm doo-doo. <laughs> I digress. Let's get right into it. There was yet another study done in 2009 of vermicompost and traditional compost in comparison to chemical fertilizers. This study, along with many others, has found that vermicompost is very, very high in microbial populations and diversity. The most notable ones being beneficial fungi, bacteria, and actinomycetes. Huh? And all of those are excellent at promoting plant growth. They're also very high in humic substances, which are excellent at helping the plant take up nutrients and developing the roots. And those humic substances are excellent at helping to clean up the soil because they will chelate environment. And those humic substances are excellent at helping to clean up the soil because they will chelate to chemical toxins and to heavy metals. And chelate just meaning they'll grab a hold of them real tight. They'll form a real strong bond and they'll keep them from going up into your plants. And also by the way that they interact with these chemical toxins, they'll biodegrade them. They will pull them apart molecular, mo molecularly. They'll pull them apart molecularly, reducing them to harmless compounds. 
and also due to the high level of beneficial funk. Stay in your seat. <laughs> and also due to the high beneficial microbial population in verba compost, they're able to help your plants fight off disease, fight off pests, and induce biological resistance, which basically means your plants will just have a healthy immune system. They also increase your soil's water holding capacity and also increase the rate at which your seeds will germinate. And the list goes on and on and on. I mean, I, I could keep going with this stuff, but you, you get it now. You should get it now. And if that don't make you want to get your own worms and roll around in your own personal worm boo-boo, I don't know what to tell you. I, re I really don't. But if it does, you can go ahead and check out the links in my bio. I got all the stuff that you need to start your own worm poo-poo farm right at home. And if you kind of want to see how I have my worm bin set up and also how I feed my worms, you can check out this video here. Or you can also look at a whole bunch of other videos. There's, there's plenty of people out there that have their own worm bin set up. So we'll do, it's pretty much going to be generally the same. So it's not hard to do, but it definitely does take some practice and some time to get a real solid feel for just how the whole thing goes. So I hope that sparked a lot of interest and opened your mind to the wonderful world of worm vermicompost. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. I got plenty of more stuff to nerd out about, so I'll be doing this for a long time. With all that being said, thank you. I appreciate you, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.